And good morning. The man who's finally glad to be back to work, 72 degrees. Gee, you need to come to work to rest, don't you? What are you talking about? You. <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank you all for getting up with us. As you all know, this is Athens in the AM on a Tuesday morning edition, Cooper & Company Live. Join me today for the first time ever making a live appearance on our program, <laughs> Senator Bill hey. Holtzclaw. Good morning, Senator Holtzclaw. How are you, sir? Very good. Glad to be here. Thank and you. And my old buddy from New Hope, been with us years ago, Mr. Wade Thompson, retired teacher, Grissom High School. And Mr. Facebook himself, Stanley <laughs> Menifee, Limestone County Chairman. Hey, Stanley. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you up here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to talk to him. Wade's got something going on that everybody wants to know. Plus, we've got some other special guests that just came in from Nashville to talk about that, about how people need to be more looking for blue-collar jobs because they pay pretty darn gone good. As we know, everybody ain't cut out for college. You know, I... So I went three or four years to a junior college. What difference that <laughs> Anyway, here's what else coming up on this Tuesday morning edition. We were at the Special Needs Rodeo Sunday. It was hot out there too, wasn't it, Stanley? Yes, Yeah, sir. real hot. So Sheriff Blakely had that at 3 o'clock at the arena this past Sunday. Plus, we were over at Travis Womack over at the Blues Festival over in Muscle Shoals, Alabama with Champions Chicken. And on the way back, I've joined up with the Saints motorcycle game. You don't have a bike. I don't have a bike, but I got a convertible out front. I figure that will suffice for that. Plus, Brad was up at Zeke's. He's got his fireworks thing starting up in Ardmore. We'll have a little video of that. Also coming up, First National Bank had their grand opening. And guess who won their grand, won their grand prizes? I did. As much money as I owe, I figure it's about time they let me have something. <laughs> anyway, we'll show you all a little bit of that coming. Hey, there I am right there. That's me holding the, the gift. It was a cooler full of other stuff. <laughs> And Danny Johnson won too. What's the chances? Anyway, we got more photos to share with you in just a little bit too. Thank y'all for getting up with us. Let's check on the weather right now because I don't think there's no rain in the forecast. Well, you're mistaken. There is a chance, 30% chance that is. So maybe lucky ones out there will actually see some rain. But 72 degrees out there, not bad at all. Feels great this morning. High temperatures today around 89. Probably much as what you saw yesterday, you'll see again today. Tomorrow, 88 for that high. Still 30% chance of showers. And it looks like there's a chance of rain almost daily. Jumps up to 40% come Thursday. 230-4988 gets Frank this morning. And I'm trying to get Paula Dean on the phone, but right now she's kind of, <laughs> her phones are kind of busy, so she can't uh, get her. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Oh, good. Thanks for coming up today. Glad to be here. Yeah, Brilliant. good. You're going to be you talking watch. to Wade here in just a little bit about something. Wade, what is exactly ABC? What is I know it's, <coughs> that's not the state liquor store. No. No, it's not the liquor <laughs> store. That's what people think. Um, ABC is Associated Builders and Contractors, okay. and we're a nonprofit group, and we're one chapter of about, I guess, 70, 80 chapters throughout the U.S. So that's where you're working now? Yes. Don't get carried away on We're yes. going to talk about that in just a moment. <laughs> I just want to set things up where we can start talking about that. And Stanley, I haven't seen you since Sunday. Mm -hmm. Right. It's been a... Um I spent, spent a lot of time on the Facebook issue. It's been, uh, Did you even been do Facebook the, before all this happened? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we was on um, okay. back during the campaign about three years ago. We did it. Uh, we maintained that. And then sort of, it's hard to have time for me to deal with Facebook, you know, every day on a daily basis. Well, let me update you folks who don't know what we're talking about. Uh, what, a couple of weeks ago, all of a sudden, Stanley, being a big Republican that he is, all of a sudden the Republican committee calls you and says, hey, what's all this stuff you support and Obama and Pelosi about and everything? <laughs> Somebody had started a fake Facebook page. Did you find right. out who did it yet? Not yet, but we're still working on that. Yeah, we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. <laughs> Bill, what's going on in your world? You, you don't have anything to do now that uh, y'all out of session now, Montgomery, do you? Well, we're staying pretty busy. There's, there's as much work uh, back in the district, um, visiting with folks. I was actually meeting with a, a, a delegation from Japan yesterday concerning some industrial development issues uh, over in Huntsville. So it was a, a great day doing that, and I'm glad to be here today with Wade talking about yeah. this uh, career tech education issue. All right. Well, we're honored to have you. Let me go through a few photographs this morning, and then we'll get that going. You know, we had that special needs rodeo Saturday and Sunday because it was rained out back three or four weeks mm -hmm. ago. We had the rodeo due to the tornado that day and stuff. Here's a couple of photographs from that. That's Jeremy. There's Jeremy right there. Glory wearing a hat. I sweat. It was so hot out there. Sweat was dropping off the back of my neck out there. They All right. Great what's time. next? First National Bank. What do we got? What's next, <laughs> Brad? Flip up something, and I'll talk about it. Oh, you know who that is, don't you? Bill? Yes. Uh -huh, that's me on the left with a tie on, my dad. <laughs> Look at in you. case y'all didn't know, that's Senator Adder, I mean, Senator Congressman, Congressman. Adder, whole U.S. Congressman right there. He was at Stan's wedding. Stan McDonald Stan got Stan McDonald got right. Mo Brooks was there also. What's next? There's, There's Stan and Mabel right there. Uh-huh. 
Got married at 5 o'clock out at the West, and we got there at one minute till. <laughs> we were there. And then I stepped on her dress as she was walking by. I jerked it right off of her almost. <laughs> and there's Steve Raby, my old yeah. buddy. Yeah, Auburn night, big Stevie. He was out there. That's Donnie Fritz. That's Donnie on the route with the cap on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y'all ever heard of him? He sings like Joe Cocker. Uh -huh. What's next? Show me another. Oh, there's my newest, bestest friends right there. The Saints Motorcycle Gang. Y'all got them in Nashville? I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Y'all ride up on a Harley? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that's uh, they, there. Well, you know, you were. Out oh, look, I'm wedding. holding a Bud Light. I ain't even drinking it. I'm holding this. The guy next to me. <laughs> She's like, Jamie, your hair's flat. Let me fix it. Thank what you, else ladies. we got? Hey, the one on the right says he looks like Tim McGraw. I thought he did. And the one on the left, what was that guy on the left's name? Uh, Hoodlum. Hoodlum. <laughs> Official nickname Hoodlum, Wade, in case you did not know. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Somebody got beaten pool. We had people night. on the house. We moved that pool table from upstairs to downstairs because we never used it, Stanley. You've been in our house. It's too, you know, I, my, I don't like going upstairs anymore, so I moved it downstairs yesterday and let her win last night. Let me, uh-huh. Well, we moved some furniture around, but one thing irritates me. Y'all ever seen these? <laughs> they go on furniture. The arms. The arms. They're useless, basically. They last about five minutes. They never stay on there. Well... Yeah, we got this real expensive chair, Stanley. I've had it through three or four marriages. I just kept it, you know, because of <laughs> my bill, bill, you think. <laughs> anyway, so I said, <laughs> what are you laughing about, Wade? Shut up. So uh, you. I had these things. I said, well, they're useless. I'm tired of, you know, dealing with them. Well, I get ready to look at them. I was going to talk about them this morning. You know where they were? Abby, they have threw them in the garbage. Well, you said they were worth. So I went and dug them out of the garbage. <laughs> but they are. I mean, they are. What are they? They keep the, from staining the arm, aren't they? Supposedly. You, I mean, you're a wealthy man. You if got you real fine now. <laughs> uh, tell me. Well, they for, Bill? I don't know, but somehow I know that I've got you fooled to think I'm a wealthy man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, stand out, I couldn't get no use out of them. So if they come up missing again, you'll never miss well, them? Well, I just, you know, there's mm -hmm. just not a whole lot to them. You need to sew a piece of Velcro on them, then you'll okay. always stick. Stay there. All right, yeah, I told y'all we were at the exceptional. <laughs> Here's right here. It's Zach's cousin, Jonathan Garrett. Lasso's a steer. Mm -hmm. He was out there. I've got some video of him coming up later. We'll share with y'all this morning. Rope him, cowboy. He was good That's at in it. the news courier this morning, so I'll share that with y'all. My favorite photo of the day is oh, this 80 year old woman riding over in Gunnerville, riding the hot dog. Look at this <laughs> photograph. Uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she had she was time. excited. Yes, she was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? Have you get hold yourself, Bill? Have you seen <laughs> Miss Alabama? I have. No, well, here she is again. Won't you call her and see if you can get up here on the program? Yeah, there she is, Miss nice. Mary. Finished first runner up too, by the way. And uh, Danny, you gotta get her down to help you with your campaign right there. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> and they're having that yeah. funeral day for the Alabama fan Dick Coffee died over the weekend at 91 years old. Fire amazing. Him. He he was uh, his buddy Al Jones is from Decatur. He's 86. He's going down to attend the funeral yeah. day. Alabama super fan right here. I don't think he missed a ball game for 41 years. I see, it's going to play 40. Oh, wait a 40. Uh, no, he's longer than that. He never missed a ball game uh, since the 48. I think. Wow. Never missed an Alabama football game. That record will never be broke. True. Now, I watch them. But let's talk about the big story, Stan. I know you're keeping up with Paula Dean. No. <laughs> really not. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Paula Dean is going to be on the Today Show tomorrow. She's been dropped by yet another big brand. You know, right now, though, I think she's got like a hundred. You know, I know she's supposedly in a deposition stated that she used the n-word and this uh, black employee is suing her and her brother for being racist uh, a lot of other stuff too but they have fired the food networks dumped her and now they got all kind of complaints I guarantee you they re put her back on mm -hmm. my problem is the bill I don't She's put you in any difficult situation so you don't have to answer this question a guy asked me at church Sunday he said, Jamie, have you ever used the N-word? As I was taking up the uh, collection after I got my share out, I said, uh, yeah. Did not. He said, I have too. This is an older guy. He said, we grew up in the South. I mean, my problem is, and I read the other day, this is going to make a bunch of y'all mad, but I'm going to say it anyway. He said, white people get insulted when they use, they're called honky. That don't mean squat to me. You can call me honky all day long. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, you know, why should I care 
you know, I'm just an old white boy that's redneck. I'm the most discriminated guy in America nowadays. Everyone's offended. But well, doggone it, if they say the N-word, they use it in songs, they use it calling each other that. Hey, so it's a derogatory remark. But honky, come on, <laughs> call me some slack. <laughs> call me anything you want to, just send me a check. <laughs> Have you ever eaten at a restaurant? <laughs> You know, because that's where she got her fame. Right. Okay. Sometimes. And, and, and I would say, we've been over there once to eat. And don't get me wrong, I, it's good eating. But my mother-in-law cooks better than that. All right. <laughs> and, and that's, that's where it's, it's all about marketing. And so really, oh, yeah. that's, that's where this is. That's where this but she's is got taken. like 100,000 so. people now on Facebook saying, hey, we support them. He said, all right, what, what happened to Mel Gibson? See, I don't Remember know when he she, went off on that rant he, he had? The guy that plays Kramer on Seinfeld? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't get fired from everything. You, Mel Gibson's still making movies last time I looked. Mm -hmm. Everyone has moments, I guess. So, you know. She'll get through it, I'm sure. I don't care. <laughs> what else you got? I don't care. I tell you, well, I'm going to go to some video right now. I, I got to get this in. You, you weren't at to. First National Bank's grand opening. You were yeah. mm -hmm. for a short time. You know I won the grand Great prize. Crowd. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That's rigged, wasn't it? It sounds like it. <laughs> might have been. I don't know. have a large it, investment. It might have there. been rigged. Uh -huh. Well, as much money as I owe them, I figured they might well give me something. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to a little bit. Bill, again, thanks for coming up. Look forward to hearing from you just a moment. Wade, your special guest in here, too, talked about the, the stats that I read that you had were really phenomenal about the dropout rate mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So just maintain your composure throughout the program. If anybody knows who's Facebook and Stanley falsely, let us know. I got well, an idea who that might that be. One. Probably some Democrat. Uh, I don't necessarily say that. It's probably just a strange character. A I, I wouldn't label him either one of those. There's, there's a lot of strange good, characters as part of the country, Dad. I'm, I'm just not one of my political folks is to blame it for things like that. But uh, it's just strange people that do that. It's, it's oh, really something to think about. I'm not going to go to that video yet. You're a big fisherman, aren't you? Mm -hmm. They had the you fish. Yes. My wife you, catches all the fish when we do go there. Well, that's the same way mine is, and then clubs them to death in the backyard. Uh, all right. Have y'all ever been noodling? Y'all might do that up in Tennessee. You go down in the water and grab out them big catfish. Here's the winner, 19-year-old former cheerleader. But go to some of those shots there, Brad. Show me what we got. Look. Good Lord. Now, My now they get down in the water and dig them out, Wade. Yeah. Go, girl. Stanley, you've done that before. No, I haven't. Uh -uh. Yeah. You got a shot of her? Yeah. Uh -huh. She's the one with the bathing suit on. Look at how big that fish is. What else you got? Yeah. That's a freaking catfish now. Yes, it is. And there's one more. Look at that. Wow. The day I'm in the water and I feel something like that, I'm gone. <laughs> you going down there and grabbing something out of it. Chicken. <laughs> Call me whatever you want to, but I'll be dang if I'm going to be in the water like that. All right, now let's go back to some of that video. We'll talk with these guys here in just a moment on a Tuesday morning discriminated. Hey, I ain't going to be here next week. Y'all be seeing this show again, so you y'all wonder where I am. I'm taking some well the time honky time off. Right now, let's go to First National Bank's Grand Open. We'll be back in just a moment. Y'all hang on.